Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Sagittarius. And if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share if that's what you'd like to do. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. So let's take a look, Sagittarius, calling in your angels, guides, spirit and source energy at the week ahead. For Sagittarius, please. Just be patient a moment as I draw the cards for you. And it is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. This is where you're at currently, what is below you, what's behind you, what's above you and what is coming in towards you. So let's take a look at your first message. We have the six of earth here. So this is a wonderful exchange between you and another or you and others. Gifts of money, time or effort. A new career opportunities. Perhaps some of you are thinking of a new career opportunity or your work life in some way this week as well. Perhaps planning ahead for the new year. Receiving a loan or paying off debts. So there's a sense here around your material gain, wealth, um, employment and very um, earthly concerns. This week is what you're going to be um, focused on or um, what's going to be uh, uh, drawing your attention. Okay, so I'm seeing a good exchange between you and others. If things have not been balanced between you, you and another in the past, I feel there may be an opportunity this week for you to get back on track with this particular person. So this is an overall energy of harmony and balance and of weighing things up and looking to the future and seeing where you really want to be. I am sensing a very blessed energy around you this week, Sagittarius. I am seeing that the exchange between you and others is going to be wonderfully, uh, wonderfully positive for the most part. And you yourself, your energy is um, have, has a lot of, you've got a lot of blessings going on in your life. So let's take a look at your second card, we have the Wolverine. You're a lot tougher than you think you are. So there's a strength here that I'm picking up on with this energy that spirit wants to bring through. And I'm seeing that the your strength, your fortitude and um, this energy others will see in you or they have seen in you or you're going to display in some way. And I'm seeing that that's going to be uplifting for another person in your life to see. Also, if you have been going through difficulties in whatever way, Spirit is saying that you are very strong. The strength that you have gained through this process is going to serve you well moving forward into your future. Let's take a look at your romance card here. We have the honeymoon energy, taking time away with your partner. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you may be holidaying together. There's an energy here of uh, more general energy of travel, and of being with people that you want to be with. So Christmas is coming up soon. And so this reading for some of you may be related to that in terms of being with others. If it is the energy here, even if the dynamic in the past hasn't been particularly nice, I'm seeing where you're coming from this week is very positive and you've got a lot of blessings around you. So you will be able to make a difference in your own life here when it comes to an interaction or interactions with others. So really beautiful honeymoon energy, uh, good times ahead. There's a sense here, of course, of holidaying, getting away, relaxation with the people that you love or your partner in terms of romance. Let's take a look at your next card. Let go of guilt, let go of any negative energy or energy that is no longer serving you. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. And that's what I'm seeing here for you, Sagittarius. The energy of you and the blessings I'm seeing around you from spirit coming through around your aura this week is so positive and your light is going to shine on others and others will pick up on that and that's what I'm feeling here with this card as well you being very strong others picking up on that strength and helping others in some way as well because of that 
And this card goes on to say, forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So letting go of the past is really important here as well. If you feel you have done something wrong if you in the past, if you feel that there's unsettled energy here emotionally or mentally within you, I am seeing that you will be able to balance things out and to let go of anything that no longer serves you. So ultimately, this is a very week. It's a week of empowerment, actually, a week of harmony and, and bringing that through into your life. A lot of blessings in that regard. So let's take a look here at where you are currently, Sagittarius. We have the nine of wands standing your ground. You have been hurt in the past. You're looking to the past at someone or something that you've just been through. And you've been wounded in some way. You're standing your ground though and you do have some allies around you which is lovely. I am seeing that your strength, you're, you're regaining your strength and you are a lot tougher than perhaps you think you are or perhaps another person thinks you are. So overall a really great energy around you. Also um, the nine is almost moving into a new energy, a brand new day, a new horizon. So Instead of looking back here, like I'm seeing you do you doing, I'm seeing that if you can let go of these energies here and look forward and ahead, you're going to have a lot more positive energy around you um, in your awareness. It is around you anyway, Sagittarius, but in your awareness. And let's take a look at what is below you. We have the Hierophant. So this energy from the past leading up to the present moment. This could be a Taurus around you or in your past. Also, this can mean your values, morals, what you believe in, your higher spiritual path, your life's purpose. All of these things have been coming into focus for you. The exchange between you and others, the dynamic that is going on within yourself. There is a massive energy here of recognizing that you can manifest things in your life, you know, and I'm seeing that you have proven that to yourself as well recently. So that's really nice. I am seeing there could be a misfit here, though, between you and a job organization or you and a partnership um, in your past that's led up to where you are presently. So I'm seeing that dynamic there as well because you just weren't gelling together. There wasn't perhaps a good fit. And perhaps that's where this energy is coming from in terms of uh, the past, in terms of um, the emotions that have been entangled between you and another. So let's take a look here at what is in your immediate past. We have the five of pentacles so perhaps there has been um been look at you've been looking at or focused on your finances material wealth or the possessions that you have perhaps you know your material world or your you know employment situation and there seems to be some kinds of um, difficulty or unsettled energy here so you have been through some challenges that's for sure this can also mean some lower vibration um, in terms of health. So it may have been illness, either yourself or others around you. Um, also isolation, filling out in the cold and um, just not wanted perhaps as well. So this energy is, I feel, what you are working through or you have worked through. Yes, you have been um, you have been hurt in the past. I can see that here with um, you looking to the past and recognizing the situation you've been through. However, this is changing and Spirit wants you to know that, Sagittarius. You have so many blessings around you. I feel that things are definitely picking up because you have not compromised on your values, morals and, and your spirituality or you're developing that and that is so powerful and important. And we have the two of wands. So this is what I want to see for you. The two of wands indicates that you are planning for your future in a positive way because you have you do have a partnership here with someone and they are supportive. They're standing right beside you. You have the same vision and you are now looking to the future. So if you're not currently in that vibration, know that that's coming up very soon. So this week I'm seeing for a lot of you, it is about planning, preparation, Perhaps not taking the first step just yet into a new energy, but it will be coming up very soon. And perhaps you've got some choices to make this week as well, which will affect the dynamics of this week for you. And we have the three of pentacles. This is really lovely coming in towards you. Agreements, contracts, um, finalizing things in terms of um, uh, perhaps a win-win situation or... Um, finalizing things with other people that 
haven't been a harmonious dynamic, but they you're creating that for yourself. You're, cre you're wanting to create a harmonious environment here. So there is a good situation, a win-win solution here, perhaps between you and others. There's an agreement that happens here. There's also a sense of you recognizing your skills, your abilities as well. Communication with others is important for you to demonstrate this. Um, if there's been a complicated dynamic between you and another, I am seeing that you'll be able to go into this situation very confident and expanding of your health, wealth, and also your relationships is on the horizon here. So um, very positive in terms of you looking forward and you looking to the future and you planning out exactly what you want in terms of a partnership, in terms of your resources as well. You know, you're planning and you're building upon what you have. So ultimately, this is going to be um, very positive for you in the future. If not this week, you'll begin to see this energy. So a lot of blessings coming in for you. I am seeing a balancing out of the energies here and a new perspective and a big shift happening. So I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.